Did you find anything? Welcome back, folks. Welcome back. This is a setup that I've been wanting to do since, well, what, about August or something like that? <clears throat> On my telly. And this is the Classic Bob's uh, Telecaster. You remember uh, who sent me this, if you watch the videos. And, uh, you rock, dude. I still can't believe you did this. Thanks so much, man. I've been wanting to set this up ever since. I got it out. I've been playing the other telly. Got this one out a little bit ago. I hadn't had it out for about a week, almost a week, six days. And listen to this. Hear that? Most of the frets up in here are buzzing now. So, uh, it's time to do a setup on this puppy and set her up righteous. So, that's what this video is about. I, I also, I'm not going to cram through this real fast. Now, I've got setup videos, you know, on other instruments. And then I took a little longer in, and some of them I crammed everything into one video. This video, I'm going to set, you know, set it up in a, a series of videos so I can go through everything slow, tell you everything I'm doing, why I'm doing it for. And uh, maybe even pick some tips up from it. It might help you do your setup. So here we go. Let's come closer. Let's get in with it, man. Get on with it. Hold on. <laughs> now, I think this guitar's got nines on it. I've never checked it. Th these are the strings that came on the guitar. Yeah, nines. 42. 42, low E. Ah, get on there puppy and a nine for the high E that's what I thought they were I'm gonna put tens on it's gonna get elixirs Natu web 10 to 46 uh, I, normally I don't like elixir strings on acoustic instruments because that crap that they coat them with just I don't know it just alters the sound too much on, a, on a, an acoustic guitar now electric not so much Maybe a little bit, but not enough really to hurt anything. Uh, let's start by major. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to check the neck relief the very first thing because I think that's what's changed. This, uh, this guitar was set up at Sweetwater. And uh, I'm going to have to have spectacles, y'all. It was set up at Sweetwater and it played fine when I first got it right out of the box, man. It was just excellent. And like I say... About a week ago, actually, almost a week ago, I put it in the case. And I didn't play it for six days or so. Didn't even have it out. Weather's changing here, too. And uh, got it out today, and it was buzzing really bad. And there's why. I have a 12 here. It will not even go in there. I think I'm actually going to set the... Uh, Neck relief at 10 on this, if I can get by with that. Instead of 12. I like to see 12 normally on a, an acoustic guitar. Yeah, that's raising the string on every fret. It won't even go under there. Check that out. The 10 won't even go under there. What does this mean? It means i got to find a wrench to adjust the truss rod with. Hold on. <laughs> so like I say, this is a, uh, this is a 5 millimeter. And uh, like I say, I'm going to break this setup into series, okay, so I can, there we go, explain more what I'm doing. Right now, I'm going to loosen the truss rod, put more relief into the neck. I can't even get a 10 in there without lifting the string. And I'll have to set this again when I put the heavier strings on it, I know that, but get it in the ballpark anyway. It doesn't have any relief at all right now. All right, here we go. Alright, can go a little bit more, I think. Yeah, see, I can't... Oh, there it goes under that one, but it is tight. So let's loosen the truss rod. We can loosen it safely under string tension, but, man, I've had people argue with me about tightening the truss rod under string tension. It won't hurt anything. I've done it going small increments. Well, 
if you've done it a lot of years and never snapped a head off of a truss rod, you've been very lucky, my friend. That is excellent right there. Now, like I say, this will change. Uh, I'm, in fact, going to tighten that back just a little bit before I put the new strings on because it's probably where I have it now at 10. It's probably going to, them heavier strings will pull a 12 into it, I would say. So when I loose the strings, I want to tighten the rod. Uh, anyways, yeah, people argue that. Tighten it a little bit of time. Don't do it if you, unless you know how to put a truss rod in. That's all I can tell you. All right. Uh, I bet that fixed this problem right here. No, it's still... Might have to work on the nut on this guitar a little bit. All right, I'm going to, uh, that's where all I wanted to do with the string, so let's see where the action is, just see where it's, where we're starting with. <laughs> Picked it up right for a change. Whoa! Something must be happening in my favor. Uh, okay, four, five sixty-four, so on the low E, twelfth fret. Four sixty-four, high E, twelfth fret. Check them at the 15th fret. 464s. And maybe just a shade over 564s, not very much. So I'm going to measure it at the 12th fret instead of the 15th or 17th or some madness like that. Alright, I'm going to take the strings off. I won't bore you completely to death with that. Like I say, it's getting elixirs, nanoweb. Uh, part number 12052, lights, 10 to 46s. I'll bring you back when I get these on. Hold on. All right. Got the new wires on it. Got it wired up. I mean, she's wired up, but good. Up to pitch. Stretched out the whole bit, man. Elixirs. That already fixed that buzzing problem, I think. And I'm going to note all the way down here, here on the 21st fret, go with the last fret, and uh, check 7, let's make sure I got a 10 here. I'll tighten that a little bit more, that truss rod, when I had the strings all loose on it, and uh, so if I hadn't done that, these heavier strings would have pulled more relief into it. Lifting there, there it's lifting a little bit, there it's not, there it's not at all, there it does, there it does, I'm going to loosen that just a tiny bit, we can loosen it under string tension, it's okay, ah, mo' better, yeah, still, there we go, that's it, that's it, ten thousandths. I'm uh, training myself to have a very, very light touch. Look at that, man. Dead on the money. Ten thousandths neck relief. I think half of what happened to my hands, uh, the reason I have this disease, I think a lot of it's contributed by playing too hard, playing too loud, beating the shit out of your instrument. You should never do that. All right, neck relief, neck relief, rest, <laughs> string, height, yeah, because I put that relief in there, they're a little bit higher now, that's almost 664 so on the low E string, and almost 564 on the high E string, so what are we going to do, well, we are going to lower them back here. So hold on, i got to go find the wrenches. I think wrenches came with this guitar for these saddles. I don't know, i got to go find them. Hold on. Well, I never did find the wrench I was looking for, but I found one. Um, the trick here, we'll check the uh, radius of that to the radius of the fretboard in a minute. The trick here is uh, count your turns, okay? So I'm, I'm going to turn these like a quarter of a turn. One quarter of a turn on each screw from where they are. 
half a turn would be the wrench pointing from over on this side. So I want to turn it like that. Okay. Same thing here. If I want to turn a half a turn, the wrench would be pointing out from this side. So I want to turn it. Same thing here. Half a turn. Half a turn. And half a turn. By loosening them like that, should lower the action. Well, it will lower it. <laughs> now we just want to check the string action again. Picked it up wrong. No, I picked it up right again. Oh, shit, twice in a row, twice in one night. It needs to come down a little bit more. No, that is that is exactly 564. Nah, right on the money. Dead on the money, baby. 464 on the high E 12th fret. 564 on the low E 12th fret. Let's uh, check the 13th, I mean the uh, 15th fret. Still 564 and 464. That's where I want it. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm thinking it had to go lower. Alright, let me get uh, radius gauges. Hold on. Very, uh, very funky, the radius would be a 9.5. Could have thunk it, man. That's wrong. I got these radius uh, gauges. They got string slots in them. So I can actually read the radius of the board with the strings on it. If I want to. See, that's a perfect 9.5. All the way. All the way up. up here the strings start getting closer together so I gotta I gotta use this other one because the string spacing's closer but it's still a 9.5 exactly man alright gonna bring you back here to the bridge now saddles rather I'll get you a little closer if I can and we'll check the radius on this I got a 9.5 gauge here. I can get it in there without too awful much madness. I have to get behind that pickup. And Sweetwater did a pretty dang good job setting this guitar up. I have to, have to give him credit, man. That's not bad. That one's a little bit off. Fifth string. And the third one. Let me get back here a little bit farther. Are we in the camera? I think we are. I can't see the damn thing well enough to tell. I want that radius to match the fretboard exactly, and it looks like it does already. I thought the fifth string was a little bit off in the third one. Back here it seemed like it, it was. But Maybe not. No, it's not. It's okay. Yeah, it's good. Let me check it up here. A little bit right there. It's absolutely perfect, man. It is a 9.5 radius at the saddles. I figured we'd have to adjust that with those uh, barrel saddles. It's a little bit tougher, tougher to get because you got you're adjusting like two strings on the first barrel saddle, and then two strings the third and fourth on the middle barrel saddle, and the fifth and sixth. So you know you can only you're kind of limited there what you can do with that. All I would have had to have done was probably adjust one screw, but it's okay. It's it's out of tune. All right, hold on. I'll just uh, briefly check the intonation. It's, it's up to pitch. And uh, but I want you, I want you to look at this. Look how far that way forward the first barrel and second barrel is compared to the third one. Now that it, they should be a little bit that way, just as they are, but they're, they're way too far. 
so uh, that's for another video though but I wanted to show you that and we're going to get into it deep uh, I noticed you know a long time ago when I first got this guitar it looked like this one was back too far well what it is this one seems to be pretty close closer than these two these two are way off noting sharp uh, that's the next video though we'll get into that and fix it but yeah that's way off man I wanted to show it to you anyhow so we know now that the uh, neck relief is right, the string action is right, the intonation is not right, and uh, the nut action, I'm going to check that too. That buzz went away. Of course, I'm hitting the strings way hard there. With that little, with ten thousandths neck relief, hit it way too hard just now there. But uh, we know the neck relief where we want it. We'll check it again, check it many times. And the string action is where we want it. But I want the guitar to settle down a little bit. Next video, we'll check the nut action. And may have to, I may have to work on that nut a little bit. We'll also get into intonating it. We'll come back here and put these saddles in the right places. You know, it should just be slanted the way it is, but it's slanted too much. The first two barrels are too far toward the headstock, too far forward. And they, they need to be pulled back. That would lower it, yeah. It was intonating sharp, I guess. Yeah, that's what it was. You can hear that. I can hear it. You can hear that, too. That one's dead on. And the sixth string was dead on. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this helps some of y'all. Stay tuned. Uh, next video, we'll probably finish this. Uh, check everything all again. Like I said, I want to check that nut action and we'll check everything again. Uh, but I want to check the neck relief again and we'll set the uh, the uh, intonation for the next video. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Cheers to you. <laughs>